Hello everybody, welcome back to the Hardest Man of Football Brexit Geezer's Career episode 12. And if you're watching this video, we all know you love a Brexit tackle. So why have you not watched the red card football video I just put out? I'll leave a link at the top right and in the description. Check it out if you love a Brexit tackle. Also, looking at the leaderboard, you can see we're still sitting at the very top of the league. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! One last thing before we get to this first match. Remember to leave a like on the video. Let's see if we can get to 75 likes for Brexit, geezer. Subscribe if you're new and turn the notification on so you don't miss a thing. Let's get into it. First match is against Ipswich in the league. We start this one with Brexit, geezer, on the edge of the D there. Gets the ball drilled into his feet. A little one, two, the one with the goalkeeper that takes the shot. That's just awful. How terrible. Oh, no. Probably one of the worst finishes I've ever seen. But now we're down the right side of the pitch. Ball chipped into Giza. Onto the best finish I've ever seen. Somehow he squeezed it past the goalkeeper who's terrified of that big man. Giza strikes it straight at him into that near post and finds the back of the net. Look at the space he finds. No defenders near him. And on the volley, bangs it straight at him. Literally at the goalkeeper's face who was terrified. But that is probably one of the best finishes I think I've ever seen. Somehow squeezes it. Watch the ball the whole way into the back of the net. 1-0. A few minutes later though, we're down the right side again and Giza's found a little bit of space one more time. Cheeky little back heel. Now he's one of the goalkeeper and he finishes it, making it 2-0 and Giza is taking over this game, finding space galore, acres of it, then the cheeky little back heel. That was a very important flick, you know. I normally say unnecessary, but that flick literally made that goal. Didn't even need to look. Saw the man or felt the man behind him. Oh, wait a minute. But look at that finish from Bradshaw. Past the goalkeeper. Again, didn't we really stand a chance. 1-1. One 2-0 on one. up. 30th minute now, Ipswich finally get the first opportunity, Giza sliding ever takes out the man, but they still have possession of the ball, gets a little through ball now, down the right side of the pitch, into the penalty box, he's got a bit of time and space, no one marking him, Giza comes out to block the man, the shot does get blocked eventually, but they still have the ball somehow, Giza makes a little bit of space, they take the shot, straight at the goalkeeper, make a little bit of meal of it, but just keep the ball out, now only five minutes left of the first half, and Giza's back in the box with his yellow card now, a little bit of skill and move, but takes a shot, and I've got to say in all honesty, um, it's the biggest piece of dog shit. Apparently, it's only one good finish to two bad finishes, but you can see 2-0 at the halftime interval, and Giza has been the centre of attention with the goal and the assist. Into the second half we go. Ken Giza get involved. A few minutes in, Giza's actually charging through now. Look at the space. Now he's got into the penalty box. One more of the goalkeeper. What can he do? Hits the crossbar. Very disappointing finish, but we do pick up the ball on the rebound here. Giza's trying to make a bit of space for himself one more time. Just hold on to the ball, waiting for a man to make a run. Just hold on to it for so long. Finally passes it off, and then the burst the speed into the panic box gets found as well one of the goalkeeper and he gets his second on the day and he runs off celebrating oh oh he's into, uh, he's into himself psych you can't injure him it doesn't matter two on the day he's on for the hat trick against Ipswich but that's all down to Giza again he's just too good Burst into the penalty box. Keeper doesn't stand a chance when the ball smashed at his face. Now we've got 20 minutes left. And Giza wants a hat trick. He finds that little bit of space again. One of the goalkeeper. One more time. Terrible finish again. It's a goal and it's a terrible finish. But now only 12 minutes left. We do get another goal, making it 4 0. And Giza gets a bit toxic in the goalkeeper's face there. It's Kiefer more with it. Every time he comes on a sub, he does score a goal. The big man as well. Not quite as big as Giza, right? I'll let you know that right now, but it's a good finish in the end. Keep it, it's actually terrible. And now we're over the allotted time, but Giza is prowling around in the penalty box, waiting for a pass. The man has it, he gets some space on his left foot, his right foot actually, and he does get his hat trick finally. 5 0, and he does his own celebration there. It's all in the big, bold head of that man. Such a good finish for the hat trick. Again, just finds that space all on that right side of the penalty box. Defenders know nowhere near him, and bangs it past the keeper one more time. And that is all she wrote 5 0. Free for Giza with the assist as well. Took over that game and of course he got a yellow card. But now look at this. It's a massive game. Leeds against Millwall. We're both at the top. Joint on points 96. Whoever wins this is probably going to go on to win the league. And hopefully it will be Millwall. They get the kick off but they don't keep the ball for all too long. Because we're back on the ball. 30 minutes. We should lose the ball. Dilly Dally. The striker runs for my centre back. Gets up quicker as well. One of the goal gets takes a shot early. And he saps the ball away. They do pick up the deflection. But the defender comes across to see it out for a corner. Our first attack. We get taken out there. And their defender has it. But Giza power on him, nicks the ball away, has he got the composure, one on one, of course he has, it's the Brexit, Giza, one of the keeper, making it 1-0, runs over to the corner flag, Ooh. sparks out anyone in his way, but he's just on a goal scoring form, that's four goals in like one and a bit matches, 
defender dilly dallies geezer's not having it into the box keeper can't set himself bangs it across him into the side netting how do you like that we love it three minutes left of the first half geezer one more time strikes it off the woodwork but the power is too much flicks it over the bar as well look how close it was to find that top corner too much power on the big old tree trunk legs that she clips the top of the bar and out and half time one nil but it's against leeds our biggest rival and pretty much our only competition for the league into the second half we go can we keep this but leaves get the first opportunity a little chip ball over the top now takes a touchdown hits it well keeper gets a leg to that one beautiful save now geezer bursting through the defensive line out towards the byline now waiting for a bit of support does finally get some takes a shot goalkeeper saves it falls out to the man at the back post who tucks it away goalkeeper is going to be absolutely fuming with that one bradshaw with the goal it's all down to geezer there. he just finds that space in the box no one for such a big man no one tracks him at all look it threads the ball through first shot should have probably gone in keeper does well but can't get the read and defend at the back post does nothing now 60th minute pretty much and Giza with a lovely blocking slide tackle takes up the man but they do pick it up another block they still have the ball no they clear it eventually but again a few minutes later they pick it up again and Giza with another beauty of a slide tackle he's actually getting the ball not the man he's upset by that but a few minutes later we're back in the Leeds penalty box just playing around the ball a little bit too much but we do get the ball into Giza one of the keeper too slow his legs take so long to wind up but the keeper spreads himself nice and wide and then look at that for a challenge. Ampadu actually took out Giza, but now Giza gets his repeat back. And we could get a goal as well. No, he whiffs it completely. He should have been tucking it away. Seven minutes left of this game. Ampadu on the ball. No, don't think so. Giza takes out, gets the yellow card as well. Of course he needs to get a yellow card, but you can't touch Giza. He'll get his revenge eventually. It's not that bad a challenge. He nearly got the ball. He got all of the man, but he's close enough to the ball. It doesn't matter. 92nd minute. Giza comes up. The Giza. The keeper comes up from the corner. Giza picks it up from the rebound. He tries a long ranger. It's going and going. Does it have the power and the pace to get towards the goal? Look at it. Trickle, trickle. Defender tracking back. And he does clear. Oh, and he looks in. No. He actually clears his line eventually. And the referee does blow up. But that nearly was the goal of the season from his own half. Giza couldn't quite get it that far. But 9.8 rating. Covered the length and breadth of that field. Now on to the final game of the episode against Southampton this time. We are at home and they are another, not quite, I suppose, promotion competitors. They are like 25 points behind us. So they're not quite on for the league, but they could still get promoted. So they still have a lot to play for. But early on in this match, they get the ball. And they should play around. The geezer gets stuck in. You know what happened now? Bang! Early as you like. Leaves one in on him. Actually crunches him down the shin there. Could have broke his leg and Giza would have been happy with that. <laughs> and to add insult to injury, cracks his head off the floor. But a few minutes later, Giza didn't actually get booked for that for some reason. We get a shot off straight at the goalkeeper. Poor finish. Another down the right side of the pitch. Tackling each other and Giza thinks, I'll have that ball, thank you very much. And shows how to do it. Little dribbling skill. And now darts down the right side of the pitch. Just keeps running and running. They can't keep up for him. Number 44 keeps tracking back. Tries to take him out there. Little ball while Giza takes the time. Takes a shot at the keeper. Snaps it away. Can't believe it, what a goal that would have been. 17th minute and Giza giving him a little bit of support there. Gets past the defender again. Left foot at this time. Too close to the goalkeeper from that corner. Giza runs towards the near post. Gets the header. Keeper again there. Stopping Giza with the goal. 23rd minute. This time Giza in the midfield. Turns a bit provide A little chip ball over the top. What a beautiful touch. Mugs off the defender. Little flick as well. And the goal to finish it off. Absolutely mugged off the defenders. And the goalkeeper. Nisbet with the goal. But I can't believe it. I don't know who that was with that flick, but it's actually disgusting. Little chip ball here, and look at this. Chest it down, and whoop! Flick it straight at the goalkeeper. They probably should be doing a little bit better. Finish not quite on point, but it found the back of the net, and that's all that matters. We are one nil up against Southampton. Such a good goal in the end. Now Southampton get the first proper opportunity. They're building the pressure. Get past my defender. Way too easy. Hit it straight at the goalkeeper. Trying to keep a clean sheet. First half done and dusted, and we do have the goal that might win us league. I think we need. Leads to lose maybe but I'm not too sure but early on in the second half they're trying to get a countdown and Giza's having none of it a beautiful challenge all of the ball a little bit of the man and now Giza's is lurking in that penalty box picks it up left foot no right foot strike curls away from the post should have been back of the net Giza had so many opportunities five minutes left and again too much power now we're into dying embers added time into the penalty box Giza there left foot this time too close to the goalkeeper couldn't quite find the back of the net and South had to do clear the lines but the referee ends the match 1-0 it's a good victory in the clean sheet we should have probably got a load more goals 8.4 for Giza another man of the match of course he's way too good but now looking at the players has eight red cards for Giza in 34 matches unbelievable next has only got two very poor return for them 
on to the yellow cards. Gies 16 in 34 matches. And then Schmodix, Schmodix, I don't know, 8 in 34 for him. Top clean sheets are goalkeeper, 16 and 28. Such a good return for him. Woodman in second, 13, as long with Ranarsson from Cardiff. And assist Fleming, 25 and 44. Nisbet, 19 and 44. Giza is not on the list. Oh, he is at the bottom there, 8 and 34. He's very greedy. He wants the goals. And exactly why? Because he's at the top, 31 and 34. What a return for a midfielder, by the way. Running up and down that pitch galore, even though he smokes about 20 a day and drinks everything in his path but that's going to be it for today's episode i hope you did enjoy if you did don't forget to leave a like on it we're trying to get to 75 likes subscribe if you're new and turn the fiction on so you do not miss a thing and as always look after yourself stay safe and i'll speak to you next time goodbye